Relationship Advice Update My 28 male wife 27 female left me for 3 months and recently begged me to take her back, I said no and now everyone seems to be against me, I need some advice strangers. Original Story Well, let me give some background information as the situation will be hard to understand without it. 7 years ago, I got married to the girl of my dreams, Denise, fake name, we had been dating for 2 years before that and it was like a dream come true. That changed after our marriage. After our marriage she constantly started feeling down and out of it, and eventually I got her to go to a doctor who sent her to a therapist, and from there we found out she had depression to do with things from her past that she was trying to forget. I decided to be as supportive as I could be, I took care of most of the housework, despite working 40 hours a week, and told her to just get herself in order and if she needed to talk to me, I would be there for her. That was six and a half years ago, before she left, she was still depressed, she basically only lays in bed and complains, she does nothing, we had no intimacy, no action, no cuddles, no going out, my entire day was filled with work and housework. Day in and day out I worked my butt off, came home to a mess of a house and started cleaning up, starting dinner and so forth. At the end of the day, I was exhausted and all I could expect was for Denise to unload more of her troubles on me and complain about herself, me and everything around her. I could not even hang out with my buddies to get away from it all as she would relentlessly call me saying she was scared and everything, so I also had no social life, not that I had time for it anyway. But despite it all, I pushed through hoping that sooner or later she would break out of it, and we could have a proper life together as I loved her, and as they say, for better and worse, and this was quite clearly worse, possibly the worst it would ever be. Four months ago, she got a new therapist and three months ago that therapist suggested she needed time away from me, as her depression started when we married so I may be the cause of it. The moment she told me, I was crushed. I started doubting myself, blaming myself, worrying, but beneath it all this creeping sense of having done everything for her, having sacrificed years of my life as a cash cow and a servant, for her to lay in bed and this is my thanks? It is my fault now? But I rejected that feeling, trying to talk through it, but she decided to leave and stay with her mother, saying she needed time away from me, and that I may be the cause of her depression and so forth. Honestly, the entire argument is a blur in my head. I spend the next month when she moved out calling her, her family, begging and humiliating myself just to get her back, apologizing for everything I may have done wrong. Honestly, I was close to ending it all, as I was so hopeless at that point. But that month passed. And as it passed I couldn't help but feel relieved, I came home and it was quiet, I could indulge in my hobbies which I had not done in years. The place was not a mess every time I came home, I could relax, and two months in. I even realized I could hang out with my buddies again, grabbing a beer, enjoying life, and slowly I started to realize that I had been miserable this entire time. Slowly, that turned into more and more realizations and before I realized, I honestly did not love her anymore, I felt like my youth was wasting away, I could do much, much better than this. I felt like I was a caretaker of a handicapped old lady. Hell, I still looked good, and as I went out, I started once again gaining back my self-confidence, women would flirt with me, I felt wanted even though I never did flirt back. After all these realizations I suddenly got a call from my wife, saying she made a huge mistake, she was sobbing her eyes out, and how she was an idiot taking the therapist's words as fact, and how much she loved me. For a moment I wanted to say yes, yes please come back. But I couldn't. I just blurted it out and said to her, she had left me and I was done with this relationship. I told her I would get divorce papers, and I told her I had wasted enough time as it was in this final action of hers was the nail in the coffin, after that, I just dropped the phone, started crying for a bit before turning in and feeling liberated. The issue now is, is that everyone in my family is telling me I am making a mistake, I should take her back, I owe it to her to try and make it work, marriage is not always fun etc. The thing is, I never had fun in this marriage, I can't remember the last time I had fun and wasn't miserable. We are both young and fit and we never even go out. Hell, the last time we've been intimate is over a year ago, all I am to her is a freaking servant as it seems, and I rather live alone than spend one more hour taking care of her. But on the other end, I doubt myself, am I really dumping someone that is depressed? I feel horrible about it, I feel like a failure, I just need advice. Edit, while I have a hard time defending my wife right now, let me clarify something that is popping up in some comments. I know for a fact that she did not sleep around with anyone while we were separated. Now for the top comments before the update. Also, the only person who knows what is best for you, is you.
Those other people were not in your relationship, they have no idea what it was like. Just do what is best for you. You've put yourself to the side for years. I just finally have time for myself, it feels like heaven and I am not even doing anything special, just finally getting home and playing a game again, reading a book, cooking food I like, having a drink with friends, socializing, getting attention from women, it just feels amazing. I'm going to reply to this comment to gain a little visibility. She is calling you telling you that she made a mistake, because no one else is taking care of her the way you did. All of the people telling you to take her back, didn't have an additional full-time job on their hands taking care of her. She spent time with her mother, who probably didn't cook, clean and care for her, nearly as much as you did. So now she wants her servant back. Run for the hills my man, be happy, choose things in life that make you happy. Our culture needs to get away from the, grind it out, things will get better mentality. Dramatic, sometimes painful changes, are often the only way to get relief from troublesome times, and your soon-to-be ex-wife will probably learn that in the process as well. Added for everyone concerned with the grinded out part of my post, I'm saying it as a generalization. I know marriages are marathons, but they are marathons of give and take, not marathons of how long you can be someone's servant. If this guy doing everything for his wife for six years didn't help her get out of the slump, she's not getting out of the slump based on his actions, and he can't help her. Grinding it out won't help either of them, best he can do is help himself at this point. You are fully justified to never take her back. Depression sucks, yes, but she clearly didn't do anything to try to get better. You cannot treat depression by giving in, and having someone enable you, no offense, you were just doing what you thought would help. She's been like this for too long, you haven't been happy at all, please leave. Enjoy your freedom. Hell, I just figured I was giving her room to work on herself, but I may have been enabling her. N no, absolutely not. You have clear evidence that your health and happiness are 10 times better when you are not in that relationship. I have debilitating mental health issues, and I would never treat my husband like that or blame him for my depression. It's a cruel and awful thing to say to someone who is taking care of you full time. I don't care that she was blindly listening to her therapist, she should have taken one minute to think about the relationship from your perspective. You cannot control her actions or behavior. But you can control your boundaries with her. Put up those walls and do not let anyone tear them down not her or her family. Be selfish and do what is best for you. I think I have been horribly unhappy for years, but her leaving just sort of was the straw that broke the camel's back. Now for the update. Let me start by thanking all the people who responded. There was a lot of insight, a lot of advice and a lot of support, and while there were certainly a fair share of people just looking for an argument, insulting me, making offensive comments or trying to rope me into some male philosophy. Luckily the vast majority of replies were great, and stuff I could work with. Especially those who are in similar situations, and those who are in said situation but are the depressed party, proved to give me some insight I sometimes did not even consider. Also, I am sorry for not being able to respond to everyone, I really tried my best to respond, but there were so many comments I honestly couldn't keep up anymore, but rest assured I tried to read just about every single comment so your advice likely did not go in vain and I appreciate it. I ended up having a really good think about my entire situation, trying to weigh out whether I would be able to give her another chance to begin with, as despite my post would give away, was actually something I struggled with. I was a bit of an emotional mess after all, and honestly, I sort of lack slash lacked control over my emotions. As you might have noticed in some of my responses, sometimes I seemed nostalgic, forgiving and nice, other times I seemed vengeful, resentful and hateful. I will admit off the bat. That this is all me, and like I told some people in messages, I was and still I'm not in the best of places emotionally. But I have been working on getting my own emotions under control the past few days, and I can say I am in a better place than I was a week ago. But it will certainly take some more time for me to recuperate from all of this. Now off to what people were likely looking to see, what ended up happening this week that made me decide to make an update post. Well, after all that thinking I decided regardless of what course I would be taking as some people suggested, it would be my decision and my decision alone, not the decision of my parents, her parents, friends or people on the internet. Mine alone. A decision I would be the one living with at the end of the day. So, I decided I would inevitably end up regretting it all, if I did not at the very least talk to my wife and get some closure. So that is exactly what I did, two days ago I decided to invite her to her home to talk about what us our relationship, what I would be doing going forward, her depression and so forth, basically just to get it all on the table. 
Now, it would be impossible to narrate this entire conversation, and honestly it was about some very personal stuff, so I would not want to even if I could, so I will instead try to break it down and give a summary of sorts. We ended up discussing our entire relationship. I must admit it was very awkward and confronting as it was about a lot of stuff, myself in particular, had bottled up for so long it was very hard for me not to start yelling. I told her I was exhausted. I told her everything we had been trying obviously had not been working, I told her I felt like a doormat. I told her she was not the person I married. I told her these three months had been liberating for me. I told her I was tired of it all, I told her that I felt like she wasn't doing anything to help herself, I told her she was not doing anything around the house, I told her a marriage is supposed to be a partnership but I felt like I was basically married to myself, and that I was the only partner in this relationship. Essentially, I unloaded the stuff I had been feeling for years by now. I told her I had a hard time not regretting the day I married her, at this point, and while it obviously really, really hurt her to hear, she told me she knew. She knew I was unhappy. She knew she had been anything but a partner, she knew she was horrible about it all, but she felt like whatever she tried, she always ended up fearing getting better, getting demotivated to do anything, and that when she left, she almost felt like she had burdened me enough. That it wasn't for her, but for me but that she went about it the wrong way and ended up blaming the therapist as an easy way out. While it was true the therapist had guided her in some way towards this decision, the decision she made was for the right reasons, but the explanation she provided was tailored to her, not to me, which was disregarding the therapist's advice entirely. She said she felt guilty about it all, and that, that guilt was just making her psychological state even worse, she said she hated seeing me going to work, coming home exhausted and having to clean everything up, until I just passed out essentially, which I might add is a massive step for her as she never admitted this. But she started admitting a lot of stuff and apologizing for a lot of things in our relationship, she said her time away made her realize how much I mean to her, and how much she took me for granted, and that she should have done better a long time ago. To which I told her, I felt like I had been enabling her essentially, while I had tried to keep her to her medication and all of that. At the end of the day. It was always me picking up after her which probably made it easier for her to slip back into it all. Well after hours upon hours of talking we ended up hugging for what seemed like over an hour before going back to talking, and she basically said she understood if I would not take her back. She understood if I did not trust her to get better. She understood that I was tired, but she asked me to give her one more chance and she would do anything for it. I have to admit, my mind immediately wanted me to go to the obvious option, which was not taking her back not giving her a chance, but honestly in this discussion, she was the person I was once in love with. She seemed to take ownership of things. She seemed different somehow, but I also knew the risks coming with taking her back and honestly, I was not about to pull another Hail Mary. So, I told her I would be willing to give it a shot, but it wouldn't be like before, not at all. I told her, she would have to prove she was going to put in the effort first, before we could even begin. Firstly, I told her she had to get a part-time job. I don't care what sort of job, whether it is waiting tables, at a clothing store or at some company, it is irrelevant. As long as she made sure to go every single time she was supposed to go, look presentable when going, and made sure she did her best at said job. Secondly, she knows I like going to the gym, as such she would be going with me at least three times a week, get in shape again, get some exercise in, but most of all, be busy in a healthy way. Thirdly, she is going to help her parents around the house while she stays there. No more sitting in her room alone with her thoughts, groceries, dishes, vacuuming whatever, she was going to make an effort doing it every single day. Fourthly, as some people suggested, we were going to go on a date once a week, no more escaping, not wanting to go outside, feeling self-conscious, no more excuses. Fifthly, we were going to do couples counseling, I know we tried before, but we will try again. Sixth, she is going to go to a new therapist, not lie about anything anymore and do what the therapist tells her. Seventh, if the therapist suggests medication, she is going to take them every time she is supposed to take them, and I will keep them with me and she will take them in front of me, no more forgetting, no more not taking them, no more complaining and if there are issues with them we will try different ones but regardless, she is going to stick to it. I told her, once we are doing all that, we can go to the next stage of repairing our relationship, but until she does them and keeps them up for a good few months. There is not a single chance I will continue a relationship, and yes, I know ultimatums are a taboo on relationship advice, but I don't think I have much of a choice. To my surprise, she actually agreed, and to my even bigger surprise, despite it only having been two days, 
She was actually helping her mother and father around the house yesterday and has been looking for jobs, her dad also said she seems a lot more cheerful. Now I know there is a long road left, and I know there is a good chance this won't work out, and that I should not cheer it too early, but honestly, I am hoping I get my wife back and I felt I owe it to myself to at least allow her this one last chance. Call me an idiot for giving her this chance but well, perhaps I am an idiot. That was my update, I am not sure whether I will make another, I had honestly not even planned on making this one. I want to thank the people who responded to my other post again for their insight and advice, and I hope all of you live happily ever after or something, ha. <laughs> now for the closing comments. Right now, you are awake and realize how bad it has been. There is nothing wrong with giving her a second chance, just remember how you feel now. Write yourself a reminder on Google Calendar to reread these posts every six months. Use that as your baseline, and if you are not as happy or happier, then you know things are slipping again. Good luck and I hope things work out for you regardless. Honestly, what I would have suggested is that she stays with her parents for another few months to a year. Date her again. Talk with her parents to try and assess if she's improving. Treat it like a do-over. Pretend that you're no longer married, just friends thinking about making the relationship serious. She is not your wife right now. She hasn't been for a long time. So instead of acting like a parent to her, turn her over to her parents. Let her know that as she is, you won't choose to be with her again. And if she does improve, get a job, etc., then do a renewal of your marriage vows. As many commenters are pointing out, the path you're taking might not be the best. You're trying to force her to improve, when you need to be supporting her in her own efforts to do so. I'm shocked. She needs therapy. I don't think this is going to work, it's just a bunch of promises right now. What would motivate you to change? This is a disaster and it won't work. Everything is centered around you again. She isn't doing anything for her own sake, and will make zero progress towards being able to take care of herself. She will continue to be codependent on you, and you will still be required to put in all of the effort. Most insightful comment right here, you can't change other people, only they can change themselves. If the change is brought about only because OP is forcing it and micromanaging it, it won't be long-term change. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.